So I just released version two of my hashtag Dungeon 23 helper. If you haven't heard of hashtag Dungeon 23, it is a challenge that is, uh, has been proposed to take place over the entirety of the year 2023, in which you create a mega dungeon by building out one room at a time, one level per month. So at the end of next year, at the end of 2023, you end up with 12 levels of 30 some odd rooms a piece. It's a fantastic challenge. I don't know if I myself am gonna take part. However, there are sister challenges Hex 23, which I just found out before I started to record this, and also I've seen some hashtags posted with City 23. So there's a lot of world building challenges available. What I'm talking about today, though, is my helper that is more or less specifically for Dungeon 23, though I already saw someone on Reddit posted that they figured that they could use it for City 23, basically taking my concept of a complex and essentially retooling it into a neighborhood for an urban crawl situation. My document, which you can find on itch, the link to that will be in the show notes, essentially has a couple of pages of prompts and then what I'm calling the hex press alternative schedule. The original schedule for Dungeon 23, it's very open, it's very vague, it's very easy. Just open up your a notebook on each day, write down a room and you can be as expansive or as brief as you want. Now my fear for this is that folks who are getting into this to create a mega dungeon might end up going through a whole year of just going room after room after room and then also drawing out the maps with it and end up with something that's not exactly coherent. And my thing is, well, someone's gonna to go through this challenge and it's one thing if you just wanna go through it as someone pointed out and you're just using it for as a writing prompt just to get you kind of free writing, writing, hey, that's great. And if you're using it in that sort of context, then my helper document probably is not going to help you very much, though it does give you a lot of prompts if you just want them for inspirational purposes. However, what I do think is a lot of folks are going through this challenge with the hopes of coming out with something on the other side of it, a mega dungeon, maybe to release into the wild on itch or drive through or somewhere like that, or just to use in their own games and pass it along amongst their friends. So with that in mind, I think a lot of people are going into this hoping, thinking that they want to come out on the other side of it with something that's finished. Now, I know these sorts of challenges are always fun the first couple of weeks, maybe the first couple of months, all honey and roses and wine, and then the drudgery kicks in and you end up at some point falling by the wayside. Sometimes some folks it'll happen just in the first couple of days. Other times it might take a couple of months down the line. Some folks will even get oh so close to the finish line and not make through what I did in terms of my alternate schedule is I built it with more structure than was intended by the original Dungeon 23 challenge, but with the goal in mind of getting stuff done. So that when you look at my challenge, I call it a complex, which, which in some ways is a level, but I wanted to get away from a level because I wanted to really open up the possibilities and not have to think in terms of a vertical set of floor set of rooms and set of rooms all vertically stacked what we think of as levels so i thought let me open it up i'll call it a complex my schedule gives you a month when you build out a complex going through just your basics about it into what i call the next level down i call clusters which are basically series of rooms or i call them spaces i did kind of create my own <laughs> glossary for this but i really wanted to have a set of terms that didn't conflict with lots of other terms that I could be kind of specific. So you go from a complex, which is would be analogous to a level, but it could be multiple levels, some group of a whole bunch of different uh, units of rooms or spaces that make up something. It could be a temple complex. It could be a, a castle or it could be a traditional dungeon. When you zoom in a little bit from the complex, you get into what I call them clusters. These are your groups of groups of rooms that all kind of work together and have a similar function. If everything belongs to a place or function that is that complex, in other words, a castle, a temple complex, something like that, then a cluster could be something like a chapel in a temple complex. It represents some number of rooms. Could be small, could be big. It's really up to you, but we're, we're kind of blocking them together in terms of form and function. And then beneath that is finally what I call a space, which is basically any room, corridor, any particular discrete location. So you go from a complex to 
clusters, multiple ones per complex, and then to spaces. And over the course of the month, we go from the complex, figuring out, I think I have three different clusters we create, and then building out the rooms or the spaces out of that cluster. So at the end of the month, you end up with one complex. And you could take that complex, and that is a dungeon or anything else it could be. It could be a spaceship, could be a city, could be anything. That is one piece. And then you can just keep repeating that same schedule over as many months as you like, each complex adding to a mega dungeon, which really is I'm defining here is just a number of complexes. The book, it's pay what you want. You, I'm happy if you just use it. And if you do use it, let me know what you think. I try to be thoughtful in terms of laying it out. It's not a structure that's going to work for everyone. I'm not trying to make it work for everyone. If you're someone that doesn't want or doesn't need that kind of structure, then please ignore it, right? I'm, I'm forcing this upon no one. It's just a tool that I, I wanted to be a part of the Dungeon 23 and see how I could how I could help out, if I could add anything to it, and if I can help, if this document helps one or two or three, however many people, or as few as one person, get through the challenge and come up with something that I will feel uh, like it was a job well done by me. The link is in the show notes. It's also up on itch. You probably search for it under the hashtag Dungeon 23 tag or, or search. It's all out there for you. If you do take part in the Dungeon 23 challenge, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to see what you come out. And if you happen to use my tool, it's helpful anyway. Of course, I just love to hear about it because, you know, it's, it's nice to know you make something and then it gets out there in the wild and is useful. Game on, and I'll talk to you later.